Hello, good morning. Happy Friday to you. My name is Heather and I am back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing my collaboration video with my dear friend Mrs. Gigi and it is called hashtag create with MH and each week we take a quote and a theme and we do something creative. And this week our quote is a sweet friendship refreshes the soul Proverbs 27 9 and the theme is friendship. So I'm just gonna say right now I got my dogs running around and my husband's not here to help me watch them so there could be dog noises in the background. So um, what I think I am going to do is take some of these watercolor pencils and I think I'm just gonna like color different colors on this watercolor paper and then blend it in with my watercolor my water brush and make like a little background and then I have these pictures of my dear friends the hedges and this is my daughter's with Clint and Aaron and here is Clint and I and here is Clint, Aaron, Judy, me and my girls at Hobby Lobby inside and here's us outside at Hobby Lobby and this is Judy and I and this is Aaron and I so I live in Ohio and they live in Illinois and I talk to them every single day I love them very very much and I went to Missouri to vi visit my family and on the way back I stopped there and visited them for a couple of days and it was just awesome so I'm gonna try to use these pictures I just printed them on um, printer paper I don't have any picture paper so like I said I think I'm just gonna do some coloring it's gonna be kind of sloppy because I'm gonna try to blend it in so I'm just gonna do like different colors and see how this goes that's the fun thing about watercolor pencils you don't have to color you know perfectly and you can still usually get like a cool result result when you blend it <clears throat> so this video is a little bit late I usually put it up first thing in the morning but for some reason I haven't been feeling very well since Wednesday afternoon so I didn't feel up to doing the video last night we're trying to get get it done now so if I sound a little different it's probably because not feeling awesome but I'm still blessed and I'm here and I wanted to create and share a video with you all I'm gonna probably have to sharpen some of these pencils this is Gigi told me not to worry about it because she knows I haven't been feeling well but I just love you guys and I don't want to let her down and I don't want to let any of my friends down. I want to have a video up like I'm supposed to. So we're doing it. Hope you all are having a great day so far. I hope this isn't too boring for you all to watch. Maybe I'll just do something like this. Like maybe not do it all in a row. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. <laughs> this could look bad. I don't know. And I'm drawing all over my desk. So that's enough. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I did look at my comments from my video yesterday. From my Thursday Crafty Friends video. And I saw bunch of you commented on it and I appreciate that so much like I said I just haven't been uh -oh, feeling well so I haven't responded to anything but please know that I did see them and I read them and I hearted them all and I appreciate each and every one of you that watched and liked it and left the comments and all that okay so we're just gonna 
add a bunch of color on here. See how it goes. It's fun just to play around, right? See how things turn out? We don't know until we try it. I don't ever remember doing this before. Just like <laughs> scribbling on a paper and blending it in all over the whole paper. Doesn't mean I didn't do it. I just don't remember doing it. Because <laughs> my memory is not very good. So I could have done it five times before and not remember. Do you hear this, hear a weird noise? It's my pencil sharpener. I got this at Dollar Tree a while back and it's battery operated and it actually works really well. And it was before things turned to $1.25, so it cost me a dollar. I think I had to buy batteries though. It was a good deal. It's been working for months and months now, so I think it was definitely worth my dollar. If you see one, you need a pencil sharpener, you should grab it, because I think even at $1.25, it would still be a good deal. It runs. It runs good. Okay, here's a different blue. We're just going to put this down here. Put this here. Some of the picture, the background is going to be covered with pictures. And I need to write that quote on here somewhere too, so... Need to sharpen that one too. Here's a different blue. Actually, I'll, I got these from Dollar General recently, and they work. They work all right. I think if they were two or three dollars, not bad. I know this one seems sharper, so I think I'll use that. The other ones I got from. Michaels. They are Artist Loft, I think. And they work fine, too. You don't have to have the most expensive thing to be able to create. Sometimes we want the, the best and the most expensive thing, but and that's okay, too. But you really don't have to have the most expensive thing to be able to create. You can create with, you know, inexpensive things for sure. Okay. Now. dark blue there. We'll go ahead and add some dark blue here too so that's not the only blue. dark blue. Okay. Alright, so we've got the page covered with scribbly color. Colored pencils. So now I'm going to take this brush, this water brush, and I'm just going to start blending this in. Of course, you could use just a paintbrush and water, but I like these water brushes. 
think they're handy to have. So I'm just blending this in a little here. Probably should have got a piece of paper to kind of wipe my brush on. Hang on, let me grab a paper. I just grabbed a piece of printer paper off of my printer. So maybe like that, if I don't want... All right, I don't know. Then after I do this, I'll probably have to let it dry for a few minutes. So I might pause you so you don't have to just sit here and wait for it to dry. Usually it doesn't take too long. My husband and I sing at nursing homes and he had the one this morning, but still not feeling great. So he went this morning to go sing and play music. Hopefully I'll be able to go next time because I miss my friends. I just don't know for sure what's going on. I don't want to um, you know, take anything over there and share it. My germs. <laughs> Not sure what the deal is here. Definitely don't want to make anybody sick, though. All right, so I'm just going to take this <laughs> paper, do this. Just kind of smush it down to kind of... That's kind of cool. On here... So, there we go. It's just going to be it's going to be just a colorful background here. I think when it dries it'll be fine so I'm gonna go ahead and pause you and we'll let this dry and then we'll come back and add some pictures and the quote so I'll be right back okay I am back and this is pretty much dry I did take my heat tool to to it for a minute so we'll kind of try to make it where it's not bent like upward there we go that's kind of good so I think I will just start it adding some pictures here um, grab my glue you hear some weird noises noises it's geese <laughs> got my window open and I do live on Lake Erie all right we'll put this one here of Aaron and I and then maybe the one of Clint and I down here I actually met the Hedges like a year ago and I have talked to them every every day since. 
I think I met Erin in someone's live chat and she asked if she could call me mom and I was like, you sure can. And then she asked me if I could FaceTime her, so I did. And then I ended up becoming friends with Clint and Judy. And now Judy and I have coffee every morning. And chat and craft. We've been working on the 365 pay, uh, book together. And that's been a lot of fun. We're actually like all caught up. So we've been counting every like each day that there is for the kind of smeared some glue. But it'll be okay. So we've counted, you know, how many days there have been so far in the year. And we've been keeping track of how many pages we've done. And we've been keeping all caught up and it's been really fun. All right, so we've got those and then I've got these two. Trying to figure out how I want to put them on here. Maybe like this, and then I'm gonna write the quote on here. Not crazy about my handwriting, but I did not print it out, so I think we're just going to write it this time. Sometimes I open up like my document app and I'll type it in and print it. Or depending on the quote, sometimes you can find a free printable too, which is nice. We've got a funny quote coming up for next week that Mrs. Gigi chose. So that'll be fun to do for next Friday. Okay. And then we'll put this one on the bottom here. We all had fun shopping at Hobby Lobby together. All right, so. We've got my background and we've got my, the pictures on here and I'm trying, <laughs> I just keep wiping my hand on my pants and my shirt. Goodness. And then this right here, I don't know that, I went the, the opposite way as everything else. So, oh well, it's fine, right? Is it? Maybe add a little water and try to blend that in some more. Okay, I'm always wiping my hand on my pants. All right, <clears throat> we're just gonna leave it. And then I gotta write the quote, so let's find it. A sweet friendship refreshes the soul. Let me find a marker.
Sorry about that. I know when I turn that down, I must have, I don't know. I just don't know. I think I turn things down and then it still beeps, so. Sweet friendship refreshes the soul. And then that is Proverbs 27, 9. All right, so we've got that, and then I think I said it, but not sure. The theme was friendship, and then recently I found this stamp set here for a dollar at Goodwill, and it does have some hearts, so I was thinking about maybe adding some hearts to this, so I'm going to open it. Should have had it opened already, but did I do it? No. <laughs> oh, this is actually kind of nice, though. Look at that. It's got a whole little... That's cool. All right. So there's there was a heart on the front, and then there's hearts right here, and there's a heart here. There's also a couple of flowers, but I think I'm just going to use the hearts. Okay, so I've got my got an ink pad here. <laughs> she heard somebody outside I didn't get this one stamped very good so you know how that goes sometimes you mess that up all right not too bad it's still not perfect but it's fine all right so we'll use these little hearts here Just three little hearts. Use that. Put them in there. And uh oh. Two of them didn't get stamped. Very good, so hopefully I don't mess that up. Probably will. Kind of messed it up. Yeah, and that's gonna annoy me, so there's something else I could do. One second, let me grab it. Okay, I'm back. So, I stamped it, it didn't turn out, and then I tried to stamp it again, and then I messed it up, so. But, I actually have these hearts that Judy gave me. She cut them out with a punch, so that's the good thing about being crafty and creative. We can always fix stuff, so I could put some of those on there, except those are kind of big. Or, I do have these cute little owl stickers that I got from Dollar Tree a while back, recently. So, I could just add some owls to it, because, you know, I love my owls. So, there's always a way to fix things, if you want to. And yeah, this is a whole swing type thing here. I don't think I want the whole swing. Can I use just the owl? Okay, so I'm going to rip this sticker and do some sticker surgery. 
because I don't want that whole swing. So I'll just do that and we'll just use the owl. We'll put him on there. one down there. So we've got a few little owls on here. This one. Oh well we'll leave it. Okay. Maybe this big one should go down here and this one should go there. Actually we kind of need one like over this way I think. Maybe I wouldn't even use that one. Maybe this little one. I'm just going to do the same little sticker surgery thing here. I don't want that whole branch. Maybe do it down here. There we go. That way it's kind of like do it, do it, do it. Not all in one area. That'll work. Okay, now where's that? Okay, this. I think there was another heart stamp somewhere right here. I didn't take the back off. All right. Let's see if we can stamp another time or two and see if I can do it without messing it up. That would be a plus. <laughs> Alright, maybe over here. I can always print these pictures again, so it doesn't matter if I, you know, stamp on them a little bit. I've already printed some and put them in my daily journal and stuff too. I'm sure they'll be printed numerous times. Alright, we will... Why can't I stamp today? What's the problem here? <laughs> that one's not too bad of a mess up. All right. I need like a tiny heart. I'm sure I have one. I just don't know where it would be. So, and I don't really like how this one turned out. So, maybe, maybe I'll just draw some. This one here, you can't really see the end very good. So, maybe outline that one. Maybe I should have just drew them to begin with, but thought it'd be fun to use some stamps. We're just going to put hearts all over here. Hopefully I'm staying in frame. Sometimes I forget to watch. So those be all kinds of different hearts, different sizes and everything here.
Hopefully it won't be too long to before I see the Judy and Clinton Aaron again. We had fun. It was fun to have coffee with Judy in person. <laughs> it's funny, like we stayed at a we went there and then we stayed at a hotel and then I talked to Clinton Aaron numerous times and Judy still wasn't up. And then I called there and got Aaron and I was like, is your mom up? And she's like, yes. She had just got up because I think the phone woke her up. And I said, tell your mom to make coffee. I'll be there in five minutes. And she, I heard Judy say, five minutes. And I was like, does your mom need more, more time? And she said, do you need more time, mom? And Judy's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny so she did she got up and made coffee and it was ready when I got there so that was cute and it was lovely having coffee with her now some of these stamped ones just seem so light colored okay here we go we're going to just go over that and this. See, I should have just drawn them, but we never know if we're going to like it until we try it, right? All right. I think I'm just going to call this done for today, maybe. Except I say that and then I keep adding more hearts. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Hope I'm not the only one that does that. You think you're done and then you keep doing stuff to it. Feels like this side was way less hardy than the other side. All right. I think that's good. I think we're gonna call it done. All right, so here is my page for today. Nothing extravagant, but it's very, very um, sweet to me just because it's got my beautiful friends on it. And I love the quote, sweet friendship refreshes the soul. And the background's pretty with all the colors. So I want to thank you so, so much for watching. Please be sure to go and check out Mrs. Gigi's video for today. I already watched it and it is very lovely. So please go um, check it out. I will link her channel down below in the description. Have an awesome day and a wonderful weekend and I will see you, ag see you all again soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.